Capitol Bureau Chief Emily Fannin explaining the process of a recount and confidence the State Elections Commission has to get the job done. Emily. Amber, Wisconsin is no stranger to recounts. In the past decade, it's happened twice. But in order for a recount to be considered, all ballots must be counted. Then the losing candidate, which is President Trump right now, would have to file a petition to request a, re a recount. Now the state, but historically, recounts in Wisconsin don't give candidates a huge boost towards their final vote tally. In 2016, a recount requested by Green Party candidate Jill Stein resulted in minor changes. Ultimately, Donald Trump picked up 131 votes. In 2011, the state Supreme Court race, a recount resulted in giving more than 300 votes to the winner. The State Election Commission says they've done this before, so they're prepared if another recount is in store. That we have a really solid system here um, and that there's a, a, an incredible paper trail for every single request, registration, and ballot that's cast. Once a recount is officially requested, the process begins at the county level. WEC says all ballots will then be returned to county clerks to begin a recount. Now, Democrats and Republicans who've witnessed tight races in the state say it will be an uphill battle for the Trump campaign to overcome a recount. 